saw in our lifetime. She's got to repeal every single one of them and replace it with real health care policies for patients, not for politicians. I actually wrote a plan. It's called Patient Care. It's uh, patient-centered and market-driven health care reform. What would have happened if this would have been taken to the American public? Oh, my word. The, the Obamacare would never have passed. It's one of those that passes in the middle of the night in the in the uh, worst ways by, a, by an arrogant Washington. And frankly, by Republicans who were barely a speed bump and couldn't stop the Democrats, and couldn't stop Barack Obama from, from his quest to, have, to move towards complete statehood. As a doctor, how is this affecting you, and has it been? Yeah, what you're seeing already are patients who are losing their insurance. They still need health care. No, but wait, no, 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 no. Harry Reid said that all of that wasn't true. So so you're it's, you're making this up right now. Yeah, everything that Harry, Harry Reid says is true, right? Yeah. Um, you know, I'll tell you, patients are suffering. We've, had, we've seen around 6 million Americans lose their insurance because of Obamacare. We've seen the, the cost of insurance go skyrocket for so many people. You know, instead of paying 100 or $200 a month or so, they're being asked to pay $600 a month, $700 a month. That's a mortgage payment. That's a Mercedes-Benz payment. And, uh, and, you know, the patients are the one being left, left in the lurch. This is a, it's a sad thing. And of course, the deal of you, you are related to Barack Obama. I have relatives that I'm not really proud of either, but what has he been thinking of your, your career? And you, you come out speaking out against his, his plan. Yeah, it's true. Barack Obama and I are cousins. Um, I, I'm quick to remind you, though, that you cannot choose your family. <laughs> We've all been home at Thanksgiving. There's somebody there that we wouldn't have chosen. But what you can do is you can choose to rise up and stop your family from destroying America. And I think Barack Obama and his policies are destroying America. Okay. It's not personal, but I think he's the worst president in our lifetime, and perhaps even in our history. And so I'm running for the United States Senate in Kansas, in part to stop Barack Obama and his policies. Sir. Doctor. Well, thank you. Thanks for having me on. Of course.